Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 review stuff. And I am so excited, well, I'm kind of nervous and kind of excited to make this video today. Nervous because I don't know what to expect, um, but excited because I don't know what to expect. So, um, today I'm going to be trying fruitcake <laughs> for the very first, store-bought fruitcake. It is Village Fair $4.99 fruitcake, sliced old-fashioned fruitcake, right here you go. Um, I wanted to do it at this table with the ring light because I wanted you guys to see all of the delicious fruity goodness that is in there. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to think about this whatsoever. I have some water and I also have a little plate and a napkin to go along with this. Uh, before I do, I want to, where is uh, my screenshot, oh, my screenshots, my screenshots. I want to announce the winner of the November 29th video, which I believe was my Black Friday haul that I did. And the winner of the $25 gift card from that day, uh, random comment picker here, I will throw it up right here, is Diantha Younger. So Diantha, reach out to me. Um, and I looked on Instagram to see if there was a Diantha that follows me, and there is, so I have a feeling that it's probably her. But anyway, Diantha, reach out to me either on Instagram or uh, email me at the email listed below, and I will get that gift card out to you ASAP. So, okay. Uh, there will also be a giveaway at the end of this video, and you'll have to stay tuned. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my history with uh, Christmas foods. I love them. Why, why wouldn't you, right? I love Christmas foods, but I have never had fruitcake ever in my entire life. And, you know, I've heard all of the jokes. You know, people make jokes about fruitcake all the time, about how, ooh, nasty, gross, disgusting. I literally do not know. I will tell you that I feel like it looks a little bit like that on onion. What is it? Uh, olive loaf. Do you remember the olive loaf? When your mom would get the lunch meats. If you're like my age, you'll remember what I'm talking about. But your mom would get the lunch meats back in the day. <laughs> and it would be like, you would get like three pieces of ham, three pieces of turkey, three pieces of chicken, and three pieces of olive loaf. And nobody wanted the olive loaf. And then when the olive loaf would come to school that day, somebody would take it, throw it against the wall. Do you remember that? Oh my God. But anyway, but I didn't like the olive loaf. And so anyway, but when I had to take my sandwich to school that day with the olive loaf, I'd just throw it in the trash. I wouldn't even, I'd just be like, my mom forgot to make me a sandwich today. I didn't want anybody thinking my mom was so stupid. She put the olive loaf in there. But anyway. So I have never had the fruitcake before, but I've heard all the jokes about it. Now, there was actually a movie back in the day that was based on, well, it's the Truman Capote short story, and it is called A Christmas Memory, and it's fantastic if you've never seen it. There's been a remake of it, but the original was with Geraldine Page, who is also in Trip to Bountiful, which is one of all, my, this was a very serious moment, which is also one of my all-time favorite movies. She won an Academy Award for it. If you've never seen the movie Trip to Bountiful, go check it out. It is fantastic. And she was in this movie called A Christmas Memory. And it was a true story of um, Truman Capote who wrote In Cold Blood and, you know. Anyway, and so anyway, it was about him spending some time with, like, his great aunt. And she wakes up at the beginning, beginning of it and she's like, oh my, it's fruitcake weather. And so the whole movie is about them making fruitcake and the other ants getting upset because they're having fun and... Um, it's, it, it, you can find it on YouTube, you can watch it on YouTube, and it's this very cool, if I find it, I will link it below if I remember, but it's just this very cool kind of, uh, movie about how back in the day fruitcake was like this really big thing, and then in the movie, and this is a true story, you know, she would send it to the president, and she would send her fruitcake to all these people, I mean like as if they cared, right? So, that was like one of the memories that I had of fruitcake, but growing up, I remember it just being like this huge joke, right? That, you know, like people would be like, fruit fruit fruitcake is is like the nastiest thing in the entire world. So I have never had fruitcake. I've never tasted it. I've never had it. Um, I was in the Meyer last night, which is like the Walmart. You know, I love the Meyer. And I was walking by this table and I was looking at all the cookies and everything there. And they have these loaves out there of fruitcake. And I was like, you know, that would be kind of a fun video. I was actually going to do another advent calendar today. Surprise. I was like, that would be kind of a fun video to do is to try uh, fruitcake for the first time. Now, back in the day, they called me fruitcake. I didn't think it was very nice. It wasn't very nice at all. The boys and girls in school, they would call, they would say he's a fruitcake. I didn't think that was very nice, okay? That means that I wasn't very tasty. But we all know that that's not the case. Oh, my God, family friendly. But anyway. Uh, but anyway. 
<laughs> they did though. They called me a fruitcake. And they called me lots of other names too. They weren't very nice. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You know why? Because they lead boring lives today. I see it on the Facebook. If you watch me and you went to high school with me and you're on the Facebook, your life is boring. I'm sorry, but it just is, okay? And I'm a world fam famous YouTuber today, so you can call me a fruitcake all you want. I don't really care. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but I'm a famous YouTuber, so just get over it. Okay. Kick rocks, like I always say to all my haters out there. You know who you are. But, uh, okay, let's get into this. Now, I'm going to try this. I've never had it before. Let's see the health. Uh, oh, look, I have my readers right here. <laughs> they are so dirty. Don't judge. Okay, this is convenient. You can get these readers, by the way, on Amazon, and they're called luxury re uh, bifocals or readers or something. 220 calories. That's for two pieces. Okay, five grams of fat. Total carbohydrates is 43 grams. I'm sure you guys are so worried about this as if you're going to just be eating the, the fruitcake down. <laughs> you're going to be like, give me the fruitcake. I would be actually very interested to know in the comment section below who loves fruitcake and who doesn't if you've ever had it. So um, I kind of think, I can't believe I'm 47 years old and I've never tried fruitcake before. Okay, dietary fiber one it has 24 grams of sugars and two grams of protein. So it's just really like basically a cake. It's just not that healthy. It kind of, I have to tell you, and I hate this word. This is one of my least favorite words in the entire world. It kind of has a moist feeling. <laughs> I know, I hate the word moist. I hate the word moist, juicy. I can't, I cannot do that today, okay? I can't talk about all the words I hate. A panties. And I really hate when you use all those words together in a sentence, so please don't. Okay, let's try this now. Mm. Okay, well, that's interesting. The smell is not what I expected it to smell like. Well, I'll tell you what it smells like. It smells like dried fruit. So if you like like dried like mangoes or dried like, I'm trying to think of like, you know, like dried fruit that you get in like the little bags and they are supposed to be real ha healthy, but they're not. They're like real high in sugar. That's what it smells like. It smells like dried fruit. Now they're cut up into little pieces here. So, but I'm going to open this enough. To, you guys, this is so, it's so disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. That is nastiness, okay? Let's just be for real, okay? This looks like a ginormous dog turd. That is straight up what it looks like. I am, like, not excited about trying this whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> it says, okay, wait, wait, wait. What does it say on the bottom of it? Oh, refrigerate before slicing and or, se slice and or separate slices with a wet knife. <laughs> Here, it even has instructions on it. So this is the delicious fruit cake. Hello? Can I speak to Santa Claus, please? I'd like a different gift. Uh -huh. I don't like the fruitcake. Uh -huh. No. I know they used to call me that in high school. I don't know why. <laughs> no, it wasn't very nice. I think I deserve an extra present for that. Okay. So anyway, let's just get right into this. It's real sticky. Okay. I mean, I don't need the package because it's not like I'm going to keep it. If I dive into this and I am like, oh my God, I love this, I will be really, really surprised. Okay, I'm kind of surprised they even make it. Does anybody make it as like a Christmas like treat? You can't even really get this apart. I, I guess I should have read the directions that were inside the package first. Okay, so here. Ah! Oh god, this is it. Just the feeling, you guys, is sticky and moist, and it's just smelly, and it smells like that dry. Look at this is what I got going on here right now. Okay. Oh no, it's just it's. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, that's the end. We don't want the end. What do we call that on bread? I can, why can't I remember what you call that on bread? I can never remember anything over here. What do you call that on uh, bread? The heel. <laughs> why would you ever want the heel, especially if you call it the heel? Okay, so here it is. <laughs> Here's the, the fruit. <laughs> the fruit cake. <laughs> Not me. The, the treat here. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's not horrible, <laughs> like it's not, right? It tastes like, I mean, you wouldn't want one, <laughs> you wouldn't want more than one just small slice. I think you'd be like, if you were at a party and they passed around, you'd be like, oh no, thank you, one's enough. No, no, really, one's enough. <laughs> no, no, really, I'm good, one's enough. I mean. I have to eat more than just one slice. The thing is, okay, first of all, do you see these like candied fruits in there? They're real strong. So it kind of like tastes like a piece of like, 
banana bread. I don't know how else to explain this. It tastes like a piece of banana bread with like sugared <laughs> fruit inside of it. <laughs> uh, but like, here's the thing, okay? The consistency is kind of gross is what it really is. <laughs> like, just, you can hear it too. It's like, <laughs> no, it's bad. I don't know what that fruit was that I just bit into, but it was not good. It was not good. I don't know. There's just something real wrong about this. There's just something real wrong about this. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something really gross about it. I just can't. I cannot finish it, you guys. It's so, it's it's about biting into that fruit or something. It's just it's something. There's something not right about it. There's something not right about it. I don't even know what it is. It's so gross. It's like at first it doesn't taste that bad and then it's like the more it's kind of in your mouth and you can smell it and it's just kind of too much. <laughs> oh, okay, listen. I do not care for it. You know in my reviews when I start something and then like a couple minutes later I'm like, oh, it's pretty good or oh, it's not that bad. It usually takes me a couple minutes to really, it's really bad, you guys. I mean, it's really bad. But it's not like bad in the way that I expected. It's not bad like, I thought it would taste like, I don't know, like mincemeat or something. It's not bad like that. It's just like, it's this weird mix of like, it's just weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's just weird. I'm giving it a straight up. I'm not even giving it a one. I'm giving it a 0.5. It's just gross. I don't bring it to a Christmas party. Nobody will want it. It's absolutely disgusting. Okay, listen. I gotta finish this and put this away. I gotta throw this out in the garage. It's nasty. It's, it's not even going in the kitchen trash. It's going in the garage trash. That's, I'm done with it. This is what my husband does when he's done with something. He just covers it all up with napkins because he doesn't want to see it anymore. Okay, here is tomorrow's, or here is the giveaway for today. You have until, what is tomorrow? Monday, you have until Tuesday. Is that right? Yeah, Tuesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, to put your comment below. Put some nice comment. If you can identify yourself by Instagram or whatever, that would help me. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, and what you have to do is you have to put what is a holiday food that you really, really dislike. Put it in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.